On Tuesday morning, West Sacramento City leaders and officials stood right here celebrating the grand opening of a multi-million dollar trail extension project. But property owners I spoke with say this trail actually runs right through their land and is being used without a fair compensation. Our families had it oh, since early 60s. Gail Overhouse and Gary Bonetti are just two of the several property owners of almost 4.2 acres of land near the riverfront area in West Sacramento. Land that has been in their family since the 60s. There's three parcels here um, and the, the land is located between the existing uh, old I Street Bridge and the area they want to develop the new uh, bridge. So it's right in between. For almost four years now, they've been seeking a fair compensation from the city after the land was acquired by the city through eminent domain. These documents reflecting the land was acquired in October of 2021 after the city passed a resolution the year before. We're looking to get compensated for their use of our property. They took our property in eminent domain and they have never given us fair compensation for the property they took and we're still paying all the expenses for it. Overhouse says those expenses include paying taxes for the land as well as maintaining the landscape. If you want to buy the property and do something with it, we're okay with that, but you have to you have to make a good faith effort to compensate us for the property. It's been an issue dating back to 2020 when they first got notice of the city's intentions. They say they feel like they've been left in the dark, even deciding to get legal help to try to get some answers. We had to, we had to, there's no option. And we're spending tens to thousands of dollars and we're just spinning our wheels and it seems like they don't care. <laughs> On Tuesday, City leaders celebrated the grand opening of the North Riverwalk Trail, a pathway that runs right through the family's land. Shocked. I was shocked. Um, I was like, do these people know that, do they understand that this project isn't finished? Because although they've taken the land under eminent domain, they've never fairly compensated us for it. The city is already celebrating their groundbreaking of the Riverwalk, which uh, they do have no reason to. Overhouse telling Fox 40 that along with the acquisition in 2021, there are now other projects, including the new I Street Bridge, that will in total take up nearly 50% of their land. So there's three projects, two that are active, one that's projected to, that's going to affect our land. Leaving them no choice but to speak out. There are uh, rules about how they do that and when they do that. You know, we understand timelines and stuff, but they spend all the time doing their activities and then they don't allow any time to, they have allocated no time to work with us to negotiate for the property. We did reach out to the city of West Sacramento for a comment and they responded this afternoon with a statement saying they're going to continue to negotiate with property owners to reach a quote mutually agreeable resolution on compensation. In West Sacramento covering local news that matters. Kimberly Cruz, Fox 40 News.